everybody I hope you're all having a fantastic day for today's video I'm going to be doing a channel with message from the Divine Masculine Twin Flame and I'm going to be using Twin Flame Messages Volume 1 by Mystic Moon and we can begin the message straight away with the first card it's easier to stay away right now My beloved Divine Feminine, we've both, we both are partnering right now together, even if it doesn't look like it, in order to do some really big healing of some really old wounds and some really major core blocks at the moment. There is a lot of inner child healing that, that's being done and a lot of very old wounds that are being healed and they must be mostly, if not completely healed, to clear our way to union. And yeah, some of the stuff we've been working through has been pretty heavy. You've had your own steps to go through and I've had mine and so the truth is it's easier to work through these things individually because we will be working through subsequent upsets that come up together and when when upsets do come up when we're together they will be massively amplified so it's best that we clear as much as we can individually because we we don't want things getting we don't want massive upheaval and stress in our in our union we want we want our union to flow we want to flow together into union in the most natural easy effortless smooth way and so this is actually the most compassionate way to go about that I still love you so I don't for a minute think that I don't just because I'm not doing this I'm not doing that I'm not bringing you a three course meal to your door twice a day now none of that is divine truth the divine truth is that I am just as much in love with you as you are with me and I always will be you are the only person I've ever loved and the only person I ever will love so, so just focus on that divine truth and keep the faith. I wish I could take back the things I said. Yeah, because they sure were not in alignment with how I really feel about you. They were certainly not, not in alignment with divine truth. I don't even know why I said certain things. Why I said some things. I mean, you know now, because you're the one that's called to do the spiritual work, is that I was simply mirroring for you what was in your consciousness that needed looking at, that needed attention, that needed healing divine love brought to that place. So, so it feels like... You've got the worst job in the, being the one called to do the spiritual work. Really, I feel that I've got the worst job because it's my job not to show you that your inner work has been successful, but to show you where you're upset, to show you what needs healing. And that is why sometimes I have to watch myself behaving in such a terrible way, behaving like an asshole, saying ridiculous things. That's not me, that's a mask. You, but you can see beyond the mask at the person that you fell in love with. It'll help me see myself as that person as well. So I will actually feel worthy of such a great love with you. 
I should have been more honest with you about how I was feeling at the time. Well, there you go. Yeah, so basically I said everything except what I actually, what I actually meant. I'm sorry if you can hear the hoover in the next room, by the way. No, I said everything except what I actually meant. What I wanted to say was that I love you. And that I want to be with you just as much as you want to be with me. And instead of that, I said a load of absolute nonsense because I've no idea of how to ask you to love me. This is not territory where I that I am familiar with. I was feeling completely out of my depth. And so I reverted to my old coping mechanisms. I've thought about you a lot lately. I think about you all the time. I can feel you. I can feel you all the time. I can feel feel you thinking about me. Can you feel me thinking about you? You're my go-to when I require peace. You're the first thing I think of in the morning, and the last thing I think of when I go to sleep at night. And then you show up in my dreams and my fantasies and daydreams. I've looked you up online to see what you've been up to. And I'm absolutely amazed and delighted by how much you've grown, how much you've evolved, how much you've expanded, how much you've blossomed, how well you're looking how well you're doing, how abundant you've become. I'm proud of you and I want to share that with you. I don't know how I feel anymore. Yeah, it's okay to be a little bit ambiguous about one's feelings from time to time. I mean, I admit, you are my one love. Uh, right, that's a given. I admit that I may have projected that elsewhere. I have mirrored various choices to look for love outs uh, outside of oneself by looking for love outside of the union. And you don't, you don't need me to tell you how, how successful that has been. Certainly a lot of things that I thought in the past I <clears throat> now understand to be completely false. So much truth, so, so many falsities and so much truth have been getting revealed to me, getting revealed simultaneously. So it's okay to, for me to take a little bit of downtime to really get clear on everything. And that is what <clears throat> I'm getting clear on. No other compares to you. There is no comparison. There is no competition anywhere. So please don't try and compare yourself to anyone else because, because anybody else next to you is like a budgie trying to overtake Concord. It's not going to, it's not going to happen. Maybe I had to find a few things out the hard way, but then I had my own bit of a journey to go on, and that that is between myself and the divine. But if that's what it takes for our permanent permanent harmonious union to really solidify and really be per permanent, then so be it. Yeah, I've made, I've carried heavy burdens and made huge sacrifices myself. It's not all. It's, it's, it's certainly not not the easy route, not at all. I 
Your hard work is paying off. Yeah, as I said, please don't look to me, look, please don't look at me expecting confirmation coming from over here as to whether your inner work has been successful. And that's not where it is. Look to yourself. Only you know whether your inner work has been successful from how you feel inside. Yeah, and your inner work has been successful. You can you can be sure of that. Yeah, because you have vast amounts of hidden knowledge, vast amounts of hidden knowledge that you that you've had access to that maybe I didn't get access to so so quickly and you have vast amounts of hidden knowledge that you still haven't tapped into yet but all the answers that you seek are all there and more and so much more infinitely more it's just waiting for you to claim that hidden knowledge that that ancient wisdom that's always been yours and always will be yours that you can't lose just waiting for you to claim it, tap into it, use these infinite resources. Well, as I said, we are communicating 24 hours a day. And just like how the new moon becomes the full moon, the light is going to increase, what's being revealed is going to increase, more truth is going to be revealed, more truth in our communications. So in order for this to happen, it's absolutely imperative that you value the whatever communication we do have, even if it's just in the dream state, even if it's just through our hearts. But everything is valuable, let it be enough, and then the divine will give you a bit more and then a bit more after that and so on and so forth high priestess and high priest that's us responsibility so this is not a one-way relationship it's a one-way responsibility I'm afraid for the one that's called to do the inner work is a hundred percent responsible for the inner healing so please don't look at me thinking that you're doing all the work and i'm walking around doing nothing and maybe that maybe it looks like that but that's not actually the truth it's my job to hand to you the the little pieces that need working through one by one and then it's your job to work through them and then I hand you the next one and so on and so forth our, that's how that's how the dynamic that's how the dynamic work that's how the divine has set it up and ours is not to reason why Just relax and accept what is. Okay, there may be work involved, but it's cause to rejoice because it means what, that however bad things appear to be, you can always, always, always resolve it. You can always do something about it. The power to bring us together is entirely in your hands. It's yours to claim. So... Don't let anyone tell you different. <sighs> okay, I think um, that feels quite complete. I really hope you enjoyed this message and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.